Hey there guys, uh, welcome back. Well, <laughs> oh, the never, the never ending drama, the, what seems to be the never ending drama of the Arizona Coyotes. Another report has now come out, come out. First it was in the athletic. I saw it as a little article in uh on espn which uh i will link to the article in the uh in the description oh boy <laughs> and basically the coyotes face a december 20th deadline to pay their outstanding taxes and fees that they owe to the the city on Gila River Arena. They have until the 20th to do this or they will be locked out of the arena. Which in other words basically means if they don't pay it uh, what are they going to do? Where do they go? They don't have a home. Uh, and I don't, I don't know. Uh, it just, this is, this is crazy. You know, and it, and it's, and it said here, you know, coyotes face December 20th lockout over unpaid taxes and fees that ice hockey, Arizona LLC owns in excess of 1.3 million dollars to glendale glenn glendale itself is owed a little over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in unpaid taxes per their city manager kevin phelps in a in a letter that he sent to arizona ceo and team president xavier gutierrez and notice was sent to ASM, which was the, the Gila River Management Company, and to Gutierrez about the cancellation of the team's business license. The team has ten, the team has 10 days to appeal. So they have 10 days to appeal the process, apparently, as to why they shouldn't have their, their business license revoked. <sighs> They have until 5 p.m. on December 20th to settle the outstanding totals or they will lose access or everybody, the personnel, the, the personnel, players, vendors, everything that has to do with the Coyotes, they will lose access to the arena. They will not be able to go into the arena. They will not be able to play in the arena. You know, we we knew <sighs> the the initial opt out. Of course, was supposed to be you know the end of the season. Well, you know this might come sooner than anybody expected. They may literally, as of just before Christmas time. They may be without a home. Now, what what does the league do? If this happens, what what does the league do? What does the NHL do? They have to have somewhere to play. Where are they going to play? I I don't I don't know. But what what does this what would this what what does this say to the city of of Tempe that has this proposal they have this proposal sitting there the coyotes have a proposal that they put forward to the city of Tempe for a 1.7 billion dollar development which include which includes an arena, restaurants, shops, apartments, you know, you name it. And 
where it's supposed to be funded by private investors. So, I mean, it's, it's apparently not going to be funded by Tempe itself. But what, what would this say? Any private investigator, any private, private investigator, yeah, I almost said private investigator. What private investor would want to invest money into this? This is a team that can't even pay their outstanding, uh, their outstanding, their outstanding lease on Gila River. They can't pay their, you know, the, they can't pay what they owe on the arena right now how are they supposed to pay for a 1.7 billion dollar development i just i i don't i i don't i don't know i don't i don't i don't i don't get it i don't understand how how would anybody how would what what private investors are going to want to do are going to want to get into this I just I don't I don't know I don't know what's I don't know what's gonna happen I'm almost positive that there's gonna be more that will come out you know there'll, there'll be more details and you know whatever details that I find you know I, that I find out you know any more details that come out I will obviously let everybody know but oh God the the drama of the coyotes it just it literally is like a soap opera this is literally like a soap opera i mean you you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't write a script for a soap opera like this you you really couldn't i mean it's just it's unbelievable that that this is a franchise that is that is going through just un, unreal and i've said this before they have spent 26 years. This is their 26th year in Arizona. They've never made a profit. Not once. I have said this before, and yes, I've got to say, I'm going to say it again. What harm would it have been to have just kept them in Winnipeg? Why did you, why did they, why did they bother? Why did the league approve a move? Why would they, have, why? Why would they have approved a move to Arizona? Especially when you look at what has happened in the last 20, you know, leading up to this year, the 25 years prior, where they've, they've never made money. You're telling me they couldn't have done, you, they could have done worse in if they'd have stayed in Winnipeg? I mean, I understand the Canadian dollar was in the toilet back then in the 90s. It was horrible. But would it have been any worse? Would it have been any worse if they would have just stayed in Winnipeg? I, it just, I think, I've, I, don't, I don't see the downside of what would have happened if they had just stayed in Winnipeg. I mean, you know, call me crazy, but... I mean, you know, and, and, you know, feel free. Let me know in the comments, you know, what, what do you guys think? Would it, have, would it have been any worse if they would have just stayed in Winnipeg? You know, with the financial situation that they were dealing with in Winnipeg and what they're dealing with now, would it have really been any worse? I mean, honestly, I, I just, at least in Winnipeg, you have a hockey market. You know, you have fans that want to, that would come and see the team. I mean, you know, we've we've seen, you know, the win of the the modern Winnipeg Jets. You know, they've been there eleven years now, and the fans, I mean, they they flock to them. They're doing they're doing great. Would it have been any worse? I mean, I'd I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments on that. You know, could the Coyotes have could they have done any worse if they never would have moved in the first place? I don't see how they could have done any worse than what they've been going through now, because now they are looking. I mean, you t you talk about you talk about a, a potential Grinch before Christmas. 
if the coyotes get locked out of their own arena if the light if the coyotes get locked out of their arena on December 20th and they lose their business license what happens what does the league do I mean we we don't have we don't have an answer to that you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, as, as this develops, and this this was first uh, published in The Athletic, but this was the article, um, you know, it was, the, the report was from The Athletic, and then ESPN went and, and picked it up and shared it, and that's where I found it. And you guys can read the, uh, will, can read the article, because I will link to it in the description. But... <sighs> What does the league do? If the Coyotes lose their license, lose their business license, and their license is revoked, and if they do not pay the what they what they owe on the arena, what what happens? I mean, can I mean I remember when, when the Atlanta Thrashers lost their arena they literally they they didn't have you know they didn't have a set time necessarily as the coyotes did till the end of this season the the thrashers literally lost their lost the ability to play in their arena what maybe 6 7 weeks before the season started so the league didn't really have much of a choice when Winnipeg just when Winnipeg came in and said we'll take them. The league didn't have a choice. They really didn't. they didn't have a choice. They had to they had to put them somewhere. And so Winnipeg was was where they were going to go. Now we may this may seem you know, you may see something similar to this because I mean, you saw you, we had the report earlier. You know, where it looked like Forbes in a Forbes report, which you know, I mean, we don't know, you know, who who that was from or whatever, saying that the Coyotes were up for sale and how they vehemently denied that and that they were going to stay in Arizona. How? I I don't know how. How do you stay in Arizona? You have Tempe that's still waiting there. But what does this say to Tempe? Honestly, what does this say to Tempe, Arizona? I mean, they've got to be looking at them and saying, you can't even pay your bills on the arena you're in. What what makes you what makes you think you're gonna be able to freaking afford and pay for this area? For this big area out in Tempe that they want to that they want to put this arena and 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 restaurants and shops and apartments and townhomes and all that, how are they going to afford that if they can't even afford this? They can't even afford to 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 pay the upkeep or their their the unpaid fees and all that just to just to play in Gila River. I don't. Know, I just. I, I don't know why these these coyote videos are just are, I don't know. It's it's literally a soap opera. It's a soap opera that we just we can't seem to get away from. And until this thing is either figured out, whether they end up in Tempe, whether they end up in Houston, and yes, I'll throw it out there, whether or not whether or not they end up in potentially Quebec. I know that's the long shot, but if they lose their business license, unless the, unless they can find a place that will take them, unless they find a place that can tape, take them, whether it's Houston, you know, Kansas City has been rumored too, but... I guess I don't know about fan support there in Kansas City. Houston might have the fan support and they wouldn't be they wouldn't have to change divisions. But 
if the league can't get something worked out there, and Quebec is the only, and and Quebec is the only place that comes forward and says, "We'll take them." I don't see. I don't, especially between now and December twentieth. I don't know if the league would have a choice. They would they have a choice if they can't find if the Coyotes cannot rectify this and cannot play in their arena unless they find a a surrogate arena somewhere in Arizona where I don't know where you know I mean you know you guys you know I mean, let me let me know if you guys would know anywhere that they could be they could be, have a a surrogate building to play in in Arizona but if they can't figure this out between now and December 20th and they can't find an arena to play in whether it's in Arizona in Houston Kansas City you know wherever if the league can't find anything for them in you know here in the here like in Houston, Kansas City if Quebec is the only one that steps forward and says we've got an arena, it's all ready to go, we'll take them. Do you really have much of a choice right now? I I don't I don't know how the league says no. I don't know. This this whole this whole this whole coyote drama is just crazy. It's literally like a like a never ending like a never ending soap opera. Which is kinda it's it's interesting, but yet it's kinda it just makes you scratch your head. And it and it and it just makes you wonder what what is the what are the what are the officials in, in Tempe, Arizona thinking? Like you guys wanna build this giant freaking arena and all these things that you want to do, but yet you can't even afford to keep the, you can't, you can't afford to pay your bills at Gila river. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. And, uh, you know, it's just it's 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 amazing it's it's just the latest the latest in the latest chapter in the book of drama or the soap opera that is the Arizona Coyotes love to hear your guys' thoughts on this uh you know let me know in the comment section if there's anybody new out there that's just you know cruising around searching the searching the internet you happen to come across one of my videos on my channel hopefully you like the videos if you do hit the subscribe button i would love to have you be a part of the channel you know we always try to have fun i always try to be upbeat you know and you get you know i you know i do serious to you know serious uh hockey talk you know like this but, uh, you know, I also do, you know, I also try to do a lot, you know, a lot more fun stuff, you know, jersey unboxings, which I'm, I'm looking forward to when I get to do my next one. You know, when my next cool hockey mystery box shows up, that will be pretty cool to do. Hopefully that will be in the next week, maybe. Depend, you know, my, between now and the holidays, obviously. But, uh, but yeah. You know, if you're if you're new, uh, I would love it if you uh, if you if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I would, you know, more than more than greatly appreciate it because you know, I mean, I I I enjoy the growth that this channel has had over the last couple of months. It's been it's been fantastic, and you know, with your guys' help, 
I'd love to see this see this grow a little more. It would be uh, it'd be fantastic, and I would uh, I would love it if you guys uh, I would love it if uh, if you guys uh, all all join me on this uh, on this little journey. And of course, everybody that is subscribed, I thank you. I I can't thank you guys enough. I I you have no idea how much I appreciate you guys, and uh, you know. Just, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. And again, you know, if you're if you're new, you're just seeing whether it's this video or one of my other videos on the on the channel, hopefully you like it. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you be a part of the channel. And uh, you know, like I said, we try to have we try to have fun here. And you know, let me let me know let me know in the comment section what you guys think. What do you guys think of this? latest chapter in the Arizona Coy in the the Arizona Coyote soap opera it's literally it's like a, it's it's like these are the days of our lives you know it's what the Arizona coyotes seem to do but let me know in the comment section what you guys think and you know is the league gonna have a choice if if they don't have anywhere to play. Where what are they gonna do? I don't know. That's that's a question that's gonna be answered, and I'm I'm pretty sure that there will be more information that will come out in the next you know couple days probably. I will keep an eye on it, and uh, you know if there's anything new that I that I hear, I will uh, let you guys know. And uh, again. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And, uh, you know, if you're new, you're just cruising on through, you happen to come across one of the videos, hit like and subscribe. I would love to have you be a part of the channel. And, uh, again, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.